China says their Belt and Road Initiative is about working together to build roads, bridges and ports, especially in countries that otherwise can't afford to build this infrastructure. But the reality is a bit different. Put simply, it's a way for the Chinese Communist Party to gain influence in our region. The agreement signed by Premier Daniel Andrews gives Chinese companies favourable treatment on major Victorian government infrastructure projects. It commits Victoria to allowing more Chinese companies to build more of Victoria's infrastructure, but it doesn't allow more Victorian companies to build more of China's infrastructure. We've already seen this happen. The Metro Tunnel Project, the Westgate Tunnel Project, level crossing removals and high capacity trains are all being built by Chinese owned companies. But this comes at a price. When countries are unable to pay back these Chinese companies, the Chinese government seizes control of the infrastructure. Already, ports in Sri Lanka are under the control of the Chinese Communist Party. It is clear that this road does not go both ways. No Victorian company has received favourable treatment in China the way that Chinese companies have here. It's a bad deal for Victoria. The Australian government has chosen not to sign up. The federal Labor opposition has chosen not to sign up. Not one other state premier has chosen to sign up. So what's stopping Dan from ending this dodgy deal?